This is a great story, so listen to me carefully. Because this is a 1950s love story of two teenagers who met and fall in love. She gets pregnant, they have a baby, they give it up for adoption. They go on to live their own separate lives for 50 years. But the universe brings them back together. Take a look. Karen and I met in high school in 1958. As teenagers, we fell in love with each other. We couldn't stand to be apart. One thing led to another and we just, I just got pregnant. I proposed to Karen and everyone said no. My parents thought that it would be better if we gave the child up for adoption. I was not allowed uh, to see Karen. It was a very difficult uh, time when you wanted to be with uh, the one you love. When I delivered the baby, I called and asked him if he wanted to come in and sign the birth certificate and hold her. And he said, yes, definitely. So that was the last time we saw her. I went off to the Army and Karen went off to college. For five decades, we were separated with no communication. But I never stopped thinking about Karen. On October uh, 25th of 2014, a friend of mine asked me to join him on LinkedIn. Uh, I joined Nat. I saw the search bar up there and I just typed in Karen Lehman. And there she was. Uh, I'm the third person down. When I called her, the first thing I asked her was what's her relationship status. I said, if you're single, and if I'm single, I said, where do I fly into? Uh, I picked him up on a Monday night, yeah. and we got married on Thursday morning at 11 o'clock. He said, I found you, and now my life would be complete if we found our daughter. We did some research with the adoption agency, and by the grace of God, we located her. Imagine being 55 years old, and you hear that your parents are together and that they're looking for you. They walked through the door, and my heart was pounding, and I felt like I was about 10 shades of red. <laughs> the feeling, uh, it was just uh, unreal. To see her in person, and then to find out that uh, she was so excited to see us, and we were all in tears, hugging each other, and, mm -hmm. and um, it was just the most heartwarming experience I've ever had. Please welcome Dennis and Karen. All right, Dennis, after 50 years, you found Karen online. You reunited. Have you ever tried looking for her prior to that? Yes, I did. Um, when uh, I was working for uh, a senator in uh, Minnesota trying to get him reelected, re and I went by and I picked up some uh, uh, brochures and I found out that Karen was living on Wheelock Park, Parkway in St. Paul. So there I drove the uh, about 20 or 25 miles and I walked up uh, one side of Wheelock Parkway and down the other side and I walked, knocked on every door and passing out the literature hoping that Karen would... would... Uh, would come to the door. And, um, uh, well, she never did. She wasn't there. Dennis, let me ask you this, sir. What, what, what kept that spark alive after all these years? Uh, I've um, always had a, a place in my heart for Karen. I walked her home from school every night uh, carrying her uh, clarinet, and I missed uh, the, the football practice. And, uh, but I could care less about football. I just wanted to be with my... <laughs> with my... <laughs> so, 50 years go by. You meet up in person. What was that like? Well, um, she uh, pulled up uh, to the curb at the airport in Seattle, and she came running out, and she... Uh, saw me and she come, jumped out of her car, ran out, 
and she jumped on me and she wrapped her legs around me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and come and, on, Dennis. <laughs> and, and we kissed. And, and uh, I just thought to myself, I thought, uh, you made it home, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I did take him home, and I cooked him a, a good dinner, and we stayed up until the wee hours of the morning that night, rekindling our, our romance, and... Um, <laughs> but it was that night when we decided that we were going to get married, 24 hours later. <laughs> You know, I, I wrote a book that became pretty popular called Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, and I have a 90-day rule in it for women, <laughs> but <laughs> you waited 50 years so we can scratch it okay. out. <laughs> you know, yeah. You've also reunited with your daughter, who you were forced to give up for adoption. Yes, we have uh, reunited with Jean, and that was a very emotional experience. We had to go over to uh, Lutheran Social Services in St. Paul. And she was, uh, and the, the meeting uh, I was up on the second floor. And uh, we went in the, we went in the room and there was uh, Jean and Andrew and the, the uh, woman from Lutheran Social Services. And the, the emotions was, uh, the feeling was just absolutely, totally unbelievable. It's something that I've never experienced. And, uh, uh, but, uh, we found our daughter. I had never experienced any emotions like that either. The feeling was almost overwhelming. Everyone was in tears, including the caseworker. And she had such a strong resemblance to her father. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Well, Jean is here in the audience. Uh, Jean is here. Hello, welcome to the show, Jean. What's it been like for you re reuniting with your biological parents? It's been pretty amazing, pretty incredible. Um, some of those um, pieces of the puzzle, you know, they're found, they're put back together again. The questions that you have when you're raised, um, I was raised by a very loving family, but you still have questions about who you are and your identity. Um, but since then, we've um, had a really great time getting together. They, um, have met my dad and my stepmom. They've met my daughters. And um, I've gotten to meet my siblings. <laughs> and I've gotten to meet um, aunts and uncles and cousins. It's been a very wonderful experience. Roller coaster ish, but wonderful. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you were 55 when you met them? 54 when I met them. 54 when you met them. Had you given up? that you would ever find them, or, or how, how were you feeling about it? I, I never looked. I did go open up the file, um, my adoption file, because I was kind of interested in um, medical information, because when I had my first child, people kept asking me, you know, what's your family history? And I didn't know anything. Well, put yourself in my shoes. You're 54 years old, you get this letter in the mail, and you find out that your parents together are looking for you, and that they just got married. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, after Dennis and I got married, there were a number of times when Dennis would ask me, have you ever thought about looking for our daughter? And at that time, at 54 years old, I didn't see any reason why we should interfere in her life. But... Dennis persisted, and he's, he had several reasons why he thought we should look for her. But it was the one comment that he made one day that turned the corner when he said, Karen, I found you. Now my life would be complete if we would find our daughter. So after that, I couldn't say no. I want to thank you all for sharing your incredible story with us today. This is really good, man. This is one of my favorite stories I've ever seen, man. This is well, good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank y'all. Hey, Dennis and Karen, everybody. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.